All right, we will be looking at um, how Instagram clout chasing ruined lives. You know, the internet can be a very terrible and disheartening place, especially when you're somebody trying to uh, chase after fame. Excuse me, guys, I'm eating an apple. And, you know, through the years, there have been, like, people who were influencers, if you want to call them that. Some of them did some very wild things, like, for instance, John Gabbana, a.k.a. Boont Boon Gang. Man, did everything under the sun. But alas, if you look at him today, completely did a 180. You know, then you got the backpack kid. Backpack kid is another one. He he was he wasn't really doing anything crazy like that. He was just a dancer. But look at him. He turned his life around. You know, some have way more bad things going on than others. Like look at Will Vicky. That's another one. She uh. Was doing the clout heavy thing and then somewhere along the lines, excuse me, she did a complete 180. It doesn't end up that way for everybody, but those people are just examples that you can, you know, people do change from trying to chase fame and stuff. So we're just going to take a look at this video. Instagram clout chasing era back in 2018 that have either fallen off or completely disappeared today and we're gonna talk about all of them starting with the most controversial Supreme Patty. Yo I'm with 6 9 and I got 6 lines. Complete. Supreme Patty was once one of the most viral people on the internet, known for his wild stunts where he would do things like squeeze lemons into his eyes, but like many people who blew up off of stupidity, realized that this was not sustainable. From weight gain to severe depression, and even completely disappearing off of the internet, his story is probably much deeper than you could ever imagine. See, Patty started off his career on Instagram when he was super young, posting crazy stupid clips like these. In a podcast later on, he would come out to say that he originally planned on doing food eating contests, but he quickly pivoted his content during the Instagram clout chasing era where so many random people were blowing up for basically just being stupid. But this is where Man, where is where is Lil Tay though? Honestly. That just made me wonder. Hold up, go back to all those people that just flashed up. Where where is Lil Tay? Where is Bad Baby? Lil Pump does OnlyFans. Lil Xan, I don't know what he does. Obviously, I already talked about Boot Gang. He's a he's like converted to being in Christianity, and he's a Christian rapper, and he doesn't even go by that name anymore. Okay, who is this? I don't even know who that is. Who is this right here? I don't know. Wish I knew her name. Wish I knew her name, but I don't know it. Basically, just this wool Vicky. Uh, but this is where yeah. he would face his first big problem. The Instagram clout chasing <coughs> pushed people into a vicious cycle as everyone had to keep doing bigger and better stunts to go viral, and Patty was no different, going to extreme lengths like even walking through airport security with narcotics as a prank. Why did they think that? Was, why did why did he think that was funny? Months of posting videos on the internet, he was literally physically torturing himself to go viral and getting in trouble with the law for views. Patty was facing a ton of criticism for his reckless behavior and setting a horrible example for young people. But of course, for oh yeah, there's uh, what's his name? Uh, just getting more exposure. Kush Poppy is that his name? Hundreds of millions of views a month until back in 2020 when the pandemic hit and his social media fell mm -hmm. silent. Not a single video was posted for months Why? and some even thought that he had fully quit until one day he uploaded this video I'm gonna need my shirt back. damn he looks healthy 
Wow. It turns out that Patty had decided to take a step back from the crazy social media stunts to better himself as a person going on an insane fitness journey. Patty claims that he was having like the most depressed period of his life before the break and he was clearly a bit overweight, but he ended up being able to turn his life around completely. That's good. He went right back to the stunts, this time even crazier, uploading this video just a couple months after Wait a minute. Back. He's still doing all that stuff? Bruh, come on now. Really? Still? Oh, this is Slasher Rama. But his content actually evolved. He now started doing a mix of street interviews combined with crazy stunts for mm, okay. people insane amounts of money to do stupid things. Wow. Get a face tattoo for a chance to win two grand. Hey, bro, we definitely Bruh. would. Oh. Oh. Uh, honestly, if I give you another shot at this bin, would you let me shave off your beard? My beard. All right, I think it's time for another stint. Oh, bro got two thousand dollars this of course was also heavily criticized with people saying things like quote it's like a high schooler offering five dollars yeah i don't get why people do this 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 type of it those type of videos to this day but in a weird way patty seems to be a good impact with his content now spreading positivity that's and good eating habits. at least this you know mean that all of his old ways have changed of course as this is one of his most recent uploads to instagram just a couple weeks ago I guess they're I guess he's trying to like ago, submit a balance a video talking about his time during the Instagram cloud chasing era where he said quote you have to understand that a lot of people such as myself that blew up in 2017 to 2018 were super young so when you come from a broke family like myself and start making tons of money from thin air because of I totally prejudged his situation no differently because I thought he was just a white boy with so money Patty was able honestly to evolve beyond just being dumb for TJ that's not the same for the next person on this list whoa Vicky since 2017, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. The internet's just labeled her as problematic. I used to, I used to not like her. Today, her videos on YouTube get under 5,000 views, and to be honest, you had probably forgotten about her. But when you look into why all of this happened, it doesn't even, doesn't even matter what her views look like. Bad baby to even dissing rice gum for being Asian, it looks like she might have been destined for failure yeah. from the beginning. See, the interesting thing about Honestly. Vicky is that her entire personality on the internet seems to be a persona. Uh, let me, let like me, just, let me, and let me tell you what that persona was. That persona was to be that, you, you know, there are, uh, you know, there are like white people who grew up in the hood, right? So she was playing this persona of like the white girl who grew up in the hood. You know, she has her black scent. She got this black scent and, you know, just basically acting like a, acting like a black female. That's what I used to think when I seen it. <laughs> when I seen her, I, that's all I used to think. I used to be like, man, this is so ignorant. Like, it's her. It's, uh, what's that, what's that girl's name back in the day? Uh, V Nasty. It, it, like the, 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 the white women on the internet that were saying the N word. And having a black scent and trying to act ghetto and all that other stuff. That's that's what Woe Vicky's like personality was to me, honestly. Come out from before she was ever famous that show her talking in a normal voice, giving an inspiring exactly. message to her Instagram story. Her bad baby, V nasty. You know, they, they were all those but white girls. It wasn't maintained for long as it seems like the cloud started to get to her head. Then she sort of fell into a vicious trap. Vicky's whole brand was going viral online for doing stupid things, a recurring theme with the people that we're talking about in this video. The dumber the stunts got, the more views and money she would pull in, which led her to make increasingly distasteful videos. A perfect example of this was when Vicky uploaded a video out of the blue one day claiming that she was by DNA technically an African American woman, which meant that by her rule she could start saying the My n word in different derogatory terms and she started speaking like this. I went to Ancestry.com and I found out I'm 25% black and this whole time I knew it. I knew I was a black girl. <clears throat> controversial she was she blew up pretty much instantly growing a fan base in less than a month 
but this is where we run into another issue the people that started following her weren't like normal fans they were either toxic trolls or people that supported and wanted to see her be racist vicky then took the controversy to the next level claiming like that she i said racing her black heritage by writing diss tracks on larger creators like rice gum titling the song ching chong and i remember she did snoop dog Asian. wow to this day, Vicky still doesn't believe that she's said or done anything wrong and doesn't understand why people were calling her racist. <laughs> what she intended the stunt to do in the first place was actually yeah. the main reason for her downfall as it went too viral. Yep, 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 yep. was now seeing this racist diss track and wrote her online to the point where for Vicky even had to delete her Instagram. Account. For sure. I did, like, it did get to me, like, because I feel like the whole world hated me. They all thought I was racist. So, oh, right. So I had deleted my Instagram for a little bit. For most people, this would be career ending. But whoa, Vicky was already problematic, and to continue the clout chasing, used this hate to her advantage. She moved on to beefing another young rapper named Bad Baby, where Vicky did again what she does best and stirred up controversy online, talking about Bad Baby's physical appearance. This is where the limits once again, getting into a massively crazy. altercation. Two white girls from Florida acting hood trying to trying to trying to see who who who's more ratchet is crazy. As people started realizing that she was doing all of this on purpose just to go viral. Sometimes the downfall is deserved, as the controversy stirred is just way bigger than the person peddling it. But what happens when the star is the victim? This was the case with the next person on our list, Lil Tay. Where is she at? Back in 2017, a nine-year-old Lil Tay would. It's so terrible what they did to her, though. I ain't gonna lie. Telling her obnoxious personality, flexing designer clothes, stacks of cash, and multi-million-dollar cars that she couldn't even drive. She was for real a victim, honestly. They manipulated her. Fans were quick to point out that no rational nine-year-old would be doing anything like this. And a couple years after her disappearance, it was revealed that it was actually her brother that was the one running all of her accounts. It's crazy. And her what to say the whole time. My this goodness. This is just one part of the story. popping on YouTube right now. Uh, yeah. You're still irrelevant, like I said last time. <sighs> what, what do I say? When this footage was released, many fans were not surprised Damn. at the fact that it was an act. However, they were shocked at the way her brother would speak to her, as it was almost abusive at times. But all of this is somehow just the beginning. A ton of people questioned how Lil Tay was able to show off all of these mansions and luxury cars cause let's be real, she could not have done this herself. It would soon be revealed that Lil Tay's mother was also a large part in the operation and she would be providing most of the cars through her boss and the houses from her job as a real That is crazy. Now of course, there is still the problem here of the obnoxious content, but the real problem was that a very young child was being used by her mother for clout. Then, two weeks after that bombshell of information had dropped, Tay disappeared, simply posting an Instagram story containing the two words, help me. Many believe this was just part of a rebrand strategy, however, some saw it as a legitimate cry for help, so it would go on to make headlines, but no more information was posted. This was all until the disappearance would take a much darker turn, and the even deeper truth would finally come out. A post about Lil Tay's allegedly abusive father would come out saying how he kept her off of the internet to keep her quote, safe from the world. But this might have not been true. Page dating. This was Lil Tay the last time she was happy. Two hours before Christopher John Hope, her abusive absentee father who hasn't been in her life for years, handed her a court order forcing her to go to his home in Canada, in which she was constantly abused by Hope and his wife. Christopher Hope, her dad, would later come out to say that he had to take legal action as he was unhappy with his daughter's image online and wanted what's best for her, but it's difficult to say what's really true and what isn't. 
Many people speculate that these posts were all to milk the final bit of money and that the father never really did anything wrong, wanting to keep his daughter from ruining her future, but we may never truly know. The Instagram posts crying out for help were later deleted from her page and Lil Tay has not made a reappearance to this day. And though Tay could easily be framed as a I'm trying to remember. Used by her family, I think like maybe a year ago or something like that. Especially in the rap game. I'm gonna be honest, like maybe a year ago or something like that, I see there was like a post or something like that that like showed what Lil Tay looked like now. And that was it. There was nothing else. It just showed a picture of what she looks like now. And that was it. After that, there was nothing else. I mean, as far as I could tell you, whatever happened, it was the best for her. Whether it was her decision or it was somebody else's decision, it's the best decision for a, a child. You know, who knows what would have happened if she would have kept on going down that path. Somehow once one of the most famous rappers on the planet, but today he's fallen off. Even claiming that he might retire soon, leaving <laughs> fans wondering what happened. Pump's career was riddled with controversies and over Flash in a pen, that's what happened to his career. Just very recently, he made an appearance on the internet. 15 minutes of fame was over with. Of a Ferrari. Literally. You know, you know what's funny? You know what made Little Pump famous? Little, little Pump going around saying... Uh, F. J. Cole. That's what made him famous. He was dissing J. Cole for no damn reason. It didn't make any sense when he first came out. I didn't get it. Like he was all up on DJ Academics page, and I'm like, who is this guy? Who is this? He had a, he had a couple catchy songs, and after that first little wave of music that he that he dropped, his like his buzz just died. His buzz just died because after a while, it's like all those people who used to listen to Lil Pump are grown up now. They've all went to college. They've all lived their life or whatever. And that's why Lil Pump's music is not really like checked for anymore. That's why nobody goes and looks up, you know, no offense to Smoke Perp, but like nobody is checking for their music because all of their fans are grown up now and they listen to, they have different ears now and they they are in different situations now in their lives, you know. That it that's it, it's a standard thing in hip hop. That it, it happens, it happens, you know. Uh, but you know, some people will say like, "Oh yeah, J Cole predicted it with that 1985 song." I mean, he might have, but I mean, that's just a standard thing in rap music. There, your one hit wonders, your one album wonders, one hit wonders. They they're, they're it's a real thing, you know. <clears throat> it's clear that pump hasn't really changed much to when he For first real. blew up but he has not post crazy videos like that to his instagram story he has not to show his followers that he's still rich this was shockingly somehow the third time that pump had smashed a luxury car it's, it's gotten so bad that Lil pump is on on only fans now online and it's crazy to his fall off not only has the young rapper faced several legal issues ranging from weapon charges to driving with a license, but he just made overall horrible decisions for Instagram clout, like when he shaved his eyebrows a lot. Yeah, let's go. Additionally, his stupid social media posts and public behavior often landed him in hot water, but also made him infinitely more famous with clips like these going viral all across the internet. I'm really taking over shit right now. Weirdly enough, many people aren't really shocked by his fall off, claiming that Pump was destined to fail from the very beginning I mean. due to his weak fan base and lack of talent. See, the song that defined his career titled Gucci Gang lacked substance and actually only blew up literally because of how stupid it was repeating the same words as the chorus over and over again. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. On top of this, his fan base was mostly built on his controversial image rather than a genuine appreciation for his music. That's his a fact. lack of a solid foundation and a dedicated fan base was probably one of the main reasons of his disappearance and fall off, but there's also a lot more. 
Surface level incidents include an arrest back in 2018 for discharging a weapon in his home and another arrest later that year for driving without a license which are literally just caused by stupidity. There's no doubt that he was blowing up, but was also hated by most people on the internet, which is why what he did next puzzled everyone. Seemingly overnight, Pump ended up vanishing from the public eye. His once active social media accounts went quiet and he stopped releasing new music. Of course, fans began to speculate about the reasonings behind his sudden disappearance, with theories ranging from personal issues to legal troubles. One popular theory suggests that Little Pump's disappearance is the result of mounting legal issues as he had released a photo of his own mugshot on his Instagram shortly before disappearing. It's no secret that Pump faced a ton of charges during the height of his fame, and many believe that these problems eventually caught up with him, but when he came back to Instagram a couple months ago, he claimed that this was yet another social media stunt and he was just simply arrested for driving without a license again. Of course, other fans had theories pointing to the possibility of Lil Pump taking a break from the relentless pressure and hate that he was getting on the internet, which he created himself. It's clear that at the time, Pump saw any publicity as good publicity, which is why he would beef with pretty much everyone doing things like going on Instagram Live to leak a diss track on an OG in the rap game, J. Cole. Is he still dissing J. Cole? actually end up coming back from his hiatus, and just a couple weeks ago, he actually uploaded this video to TikTok, teasing the release of a new single. And just like Lil Pump, the next person on our list may wish that they could forget everything they did, as chasing internet clown almost got them killed. I forgot, I forgot who During he was. During the whole clout chasing era, Lil Xan was one of the most Low famous key. rappers in the world, but is now known for just overdosing on flaming hot Cheetos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Today, no I remember that. Nobody. Nobody. Lil Xan began rapping in early 2015. I never gave a dang about his damn music, man. SoundCloud, but after failing to pull views for a couple years, he would release his first studio. The SoundCloud era really, really had a lot of change his life forever. At the time, a lot of trash, bro. A lot of trash. And trap, but fans were also puzzled by the fact that a 21 year old kid with face tats who was named after a little had a song talking about his addiction. That single music video gained over 450 million combined views on YouTube's Lyrical Lemonade channel alone. But somehow, this is where his career began to take a downfall, signing with a label that would almost kill him. See, one day Zan went live on Instagram to explain how his manager, Stat Quo, was providing and even pushing him to take while he was touring around the world so that he wouldn't go through withdrawals and keep him pushing a SoundCloud rapper type of image. And my manager was supplying me with... He even went as far as to say that he was an actual slave to his manager. They won't let you do. I'm owned. I'm a fucking slave. I'm a slave to my manager. I mean, you had to. The problem with Lil Xan was actually apparent from the very beginning, and pretty much everyone could have predicted his. It, it's just, it's just like you don't understand that how manipulatable you are. You know, I mean, am I supposed to cry wolf for you when? Your music was when all of most of most, if not all, your music was about drugs. No, you chose to make your music about that. They didn't force you to make your music about that. You did. That's apparent before you even get to a major label, and you're just doing music on SoundCloud just because. It's just like it's just like when uh that whole story about the Backstreet Boys and In Sync and their manager robbing them and taking them for all the worth or whatever, conning them and and making them do whatever. They knew what kind of man he like. After a while, they knew what kind of man he was. You know, that's the industry for you. Shouldn't be nobody should be chasing nobody should be chasing the entertainment industry after they see stuff like this after they hear stories you know I'm not saying there's not a genuine way for people who want to succeed in this life to make it but I mean because the internet makes things the internet makes people and makes things possible for those 
you know, as much as there's clout, there there's actual genuine people who get to do, you know, get to make, uh, get to become streamers and all this other stuff, and they do it genuinely, and they don't, you know, if the money comes, cool, you know, people like Kev on stage and and uh, a sleuth of other people who, yeah, they're on this internet, you know, they're consistent and they they're hardworking. And they're just not up here trying to reach for anything. And if and when the money comes, you know, hey, congratulations. You know, the the fruit of my labors are now blessing me versus just reaching for stuff. You know, there's a difference. See, at the time, these SoundCloud rappers were becoming popular basically overnight and would oftentimes be disrespectful to established rappers doing anything that they could for the littlest bit of clout. Lil Xan was no different, because after Betrayed blew up, he would go on rampages on his Instagram stories saying things like this about Tupac's music. The born music. And of course, not all of this was Zan's management's fault either, as he himself heavily got into drugs, basically becoming addicted to Xanax, like his name suggests. Probably November of 2020, I actually was smoking real Perk 30, still not and all, and I was taking 20 fake Xans a day, but I later found out were like... At one point though, his drug problem got so bad that fans were actually concerned for Zan's health. But then, what seemed like some sort of sick social media stunt was pulled with news sources claiming that Zan was sent to the hospital after overdosing on flaming hot Cheetos, even confirming this himself. Yeah, man, just Cheetos are dangerous. They're one hell of a drug. To this day, some fans speculate that this Cheetos incident was it wasn't Cheetos. Used to cover up his raging drug addiction. habit. Today, it looks like Lil Zan is broke. Whether it was his spending habits or fast fall off, clips like these show us just how little money he has left. Reality is hit little Zan now, you feel me? The money probably not coming in the same way. And finally, the last person on this list is a man who would literally do anything for attention, getting so bad that he would often incriminate himself on video for likes, but somehow today has completely turned his life around. He's got to be the biggest biggest turnaround of this whole entire video. Boot Gang was Man. one of the most controversial internet personalities in the world where he blew up off of literally recording himself stealing, but he hasn't uploaded a YouTube video in four years and looks to have gone through a major life transformation. Boonk's videos got so bad that at one point he was literally arrested for the stunts that he would pull, but was so deep into the rabbit hole that he used his mugshot to go even more viral. You see, back in 2017 when Snapchat was becoming mainstream and the Instagram clout hair was in full effect, Boonk Gang or John Robert Hill started posting clips of himself literally just being a horrible person doing any random thing he could think of, and it was working. This is when he fell into the vicious cycle of 2018 clout chasers. See, at the time these videos were going extremely viral and earning him massive amounts of money from thin air, so of course he would simply one-up himself every video to keep going more and more viral. As his popularity grew, so did the severity of his stunts, where he would get millions of fans who would eagerly anticipate his next video. He was literally just recording himself committing crimes, but to be honest, it was still hilarious, like when he walked into a seafood store and stole a live lobster. Can I hold one? After this is when he finally Crazy. started to face consequences for what he was doing. Boonk started getting the attention of law enforcement, and he ended up being summoned to 20 legal court cases, most Damn. of which were proven by videos that he would upload to the internet himself. Mm. Wait, what are they getting me for? I don't know. Wait, what are they getting me for? Despite this, though, a couple of arrests couldn't stop him, and he managed to launch a rap career from all of the clout that he was getting, but fans started to notice something. Boonk's music never really resonated with the audience that he was trying to build and in the end left him struggling to figure out how he was going to establish himself as a real music artist. Like many others on this list, as time went on, Boonk slowly started to turn to substance abuse and he even started to become somewhat of an alcoholic which he would really actually show when he appeared on the No Jumper podcast completely unable to even stand. Hold up, gang, 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 gang. 
So we mm. yeah. appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Shortly after this moment, he ended up disappearing from the public eye, and all of his social Goodness. media accounts were completely deleted. No trace of him for a couple months, no statements, and not even some of his closest friends knew what had happened. Then when Bunk did end up coming back, literally nobody could have expected what happened. He had completely transformed himself, getting yeah. baptized and giving his life to Christianity. So great. So great, man. completely turned his life around and started making more serious music that fans actually enjoyed. And of course, he stopped the crazy stealing videos. He began to make music on things that had either happened in his life or about his new perspectives he managed to get through Christianity and he would constantly preach against drugs. Drugs is not where it's at. I had hella fun. I had way more fun being sober than being on drugs. He did sort of face an uphill battle still being known as Boot Gang, but he now went under the name John Gabbana, mm. who he claims is a reformed man. In all honesty, God has been so good that he's brought healing in a lot of areas of my life. He has delivered me. I've gotten to the point where I'm okay with people calling me Boonk. Boonk still doesn't really upload or make music too consistently, but he does preach good messages all the time and is seemingly just finding himself. In the end, all of the people that we covered later regretted the passing wave of Instagram clout. And though there will always be those looking to become famous on the internet, let this example serve as a warning for anyone who tries to make an entire career out of... Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. That was, uh... That was a good video. Good video. You know, I mean, he kind of, kind of, kind of didn't really, uh, he did, he did a no, he did an all right job. Wasn't amazing, but, you know, he did what he did. So, all right. I'm going to be back with more videos, y'all. Take it easy.